Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with the Elephant Collection. You know I'm obsessed with this game. Uh, we've played it twice so far. If you've never seen what this game is, it's a collection of all these uh, awesome Flash games that I grew up on, super, uh, you know, nostalgic. So on the first episode, we um, beat uh, pretty much 100% at Achievement Unlocked. Uh, this is the only level, and obey the game. Last episode did a big episode of us 100%ing uh, excuse me, this is the only level two and achievement unlocked too. Uh, and um, so we are now going to go up to the next floor here and we have this is the only level uh, three and then we have elephant quest. So we're going to see uh, how fast uh, we, we get through those. Also, someone br brought up a really good point on uh, achievement unlocked two. I forgot to do the secret ending after you 100% the game. Um, and I just want to see real fast before we jump into it here. Um, did it keep my save it did okay so it kept my save so at the very end of last episode um uh we or one of the games that we did was we got all 250 achievements in this game um and so one thing oh wait why can't i does it not unlock the why has the so it unlocked everything except it because there's something secret that we can do um where we can actually um uh, what's it called? We can actually uh, open up uh, every, uh, uh, not open up, we can open up every floor, which is what we already did. Uh, but one of the really cool things that we can do uh, is there was some sort of secret ending or something like that, that we completely forgot. We got all 250 achievements, but we didn't do that. So before we even jump into, um, uh, uh, this is the only level number three, I really want to for y'all uh, to, uh, to get um, the secret ending here. So let's go see. If you're wondering what the crap this is, watch last episode. I'm not really going to explain it. It was just, we got 250 achievements. But there was a good ending if you climbed here when you have all the achievements and I didn't get it. So let's see what it is here. <laughs> I have triumphed. I have collected 250 individual achievements. I was never obligated to finish the achievements given to me. So much time has elapsed. I could have baked a pizza, went for a run, helped my sister move her apartment across town, but instead I sat here. I sat. Here I sat, pushing the arrow keys, moving a little 20 pixel elephant around a screen doing fairly random tasks. First I was getting rewarded for no particular reason. Soon after I started to earn achievements on my own accord. By the end I became the master and won. I won. I played row, row, row your boat. I ran a giant hamster wheel. I even pooped a pastry. In the end, it all made sense. I needed to achieve, and then I got a bit of time wasting lack of any I conquered. Congratulations, player. With the legacy of the game secured, Elephant looks forward to his next challenge. So that's all that was. I just wanted to show that to y'all. Pretend that was at the end of the uh, last episode. And now we're jumping onto the real one here, uh, where we are going to This Is The Only Level. These are always my favorite Flash games here, so I'm really, really excited. You can see the quality increasing as we've been playing uh, the Elephant Collection here. Uh, and I'm going to turn the volume up just a little bit. Let me know if it ends up being too loud there. So this is the only level, number three. So for the collection's sake, we need to clear stage 30. Uh, there's an achievement called, is stage 14 curable? And then input pi on stage 25 ex extremely quick in eight seconds or less. So um, there's a couple modes that we might unlock in the future. But yeah, let's play it. So if you don't know what this is the only level is, this is obviously the third one here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move our camera here. So you don't need to see the timer, but you can see. So this is the only level. Tutorial, use the arrow keys to move up and down. Read the instructions on how to beat the level. Oh, so we can actually teleport now. So this one has teleporters. We want to reach the exit pipe. Um, and um, then do it. And so we beat level one and then become perplexed that the level wasn't beat. So now we're on stage two called middle position. So we have to figure out how to do it. So this one, I'm assuming we just put the lever in the middle position here and it will open up the the lever here so we're just trying to, to 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 beat the game or beat the level here and so it's kind of a sort of puzzle game so that was middle position now under the sea i'm assuming this one we're just underwater nothing crazy here how much is there left in this game the elephant collection um not this is the only level uh, i believe there's like three or four more games in this pack so shoot the gate oh we literally took the handle oh we can still do pastries here how do i shoot how do I shoot? That's the question. Okay, so spacebar can shoot the gate. So that's how we beat this one here. Uh, pastries in space. Uh, okay, I guess doing pastries opens up the door. 
Stage six, speak, friend, and enter. Speak, friend, and enter? Speak. How do we speak? So see, sometimes it gets tricky. You can pause, you can go to the menu. There's him saying elephant. Speak, friend, and enter. Do I type? F R I N? No. Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe we give it. Wait. Oh! When we go up, we get a <laughs> we get a speech bubble when we type in friend. Okay, make the right click. So I right clicked and then there's a button that said open gate, and I clicked it. So that's how we beat this level here. When do we get a room tour? Uh you can look back at some of my older videos. Might be like that. Uh backstage pass. Oh. Wait, I can just go under here? This allowed me to go underneath the level. What? Uh, uh, how do I? There's like a maze beneath the, the game. I'm like distorting the, the, the level. Okay, where do I go here? Oh, you know what? I probably have to open up the gate first. Yeah, I open up the gate. Because I'm assuming there's just an invisible wall. Oh, no. We did it. Okay. Uh, Rave Elephant Rave. So this is a reference to Elephant Rave. We played that game on our first uh, video. So we're on stage 10. Downsizing. So we need to find a way to downsize. Do we just get hit by spikes? Getting hit by spikes make our makes our dead body... Uh, ...make smaller. So how do we how do we get our elephant smaller here? That is the question. Um, does doing this make me smaller at all? I don't think it does. So we have to figure out how to make ourselves smaller. That's the that's the goal that we're trying to figure out right now. Um, do I even actually need to? Maybe maybe I'm overthinking this. Can I just walk through the gate? Okay, I can walk through the gate, but I can't get in the little tunnel there. Um, so how do we downsize? Um, so I can't right click anything. Oh, I just poop a bunch. I just poop a bunch. Poop all the pastries and we're good to go. I love it. I, lo I actually, I don't know if I've played this game. Maybe I did. I don't know. I just don't remember this one like I do the other ones. Back and forth forever. I'm assuming we just... Back and forth the gate over and over and over. Love this music, too. I think it's... The other ones were Kevin McLeod. Addition and subtraction is this one. So this doesn't, doesn't work here. Uh, addition and subtraction. So do I press plus and minus? Oh, plus. Press in the plus key. Uh, opens the gate. Cool. Uh, slingshot. And I remember one of the achievements was, is stage 14 curable? So next stage, we're going to have to figure that out. Slingshot. Oh, okay. Do I just mouse? Yep. Okay. We're going... We just use the mouse. Oh. A little bit harder. It's like we're playing uh, one of those like golf games. Come on. I can't, I don't think I can control him. Oh geez. Rip. Okay. Hey, there we go. No, oh, I hit the spikes. So I'm surprised, so I guess the achievements are a lot different than, because uh, the last, uh, this is the only level two video that we did uh, last episode. We had to like speed run the game a lot. That's what took a lot of time. Bad little ugly elephant. So do I have to spell that word? So maybe I have to spell, wait, wait, wait. wait. So this was something I said, is stage 14 curable? Wait, I think I just typed curable, see? You. That's definitely what it is. C U R A Cure 
Uh, bowl. So we need this E. So did we cure the, okay, so we got an achievement. Spell the only English word you can with all seven letters in stage 14. Bad little ugly elephant. So maybe that was just this level was really hard and that was their way of giving a good hint. So we've already gotten one of the three achievements. Oh, this is a Toho project. Okay, so the only thing we have to worry about is on stage five, we need to input Pi really quickly. And this, this one we're doing like a bullet hell game right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can touch the, uh, we can touch the blue projectiles. Oh God, we're in a bullet hell game. The elephant game got turned into a bullet hell game. Okay, nope, oh God. Okay, here we go, here we go, this is it, this is it. This is it, there we go. How many digits of pie, I don't know. There's a mouse in the pipe. Wait, wait, need to pull something out? There's a mouse in the pipe. Can I entice it with pastries? Okay, I don't think so. There's a mouse in the pipe. That makes me feel like I should put my mouse... Oh! If I put my mouse on the top left pipe, it opens up the door. Easy peasy. Okay, deadly walls afloat. Okay, so I'm assuming all the walls are gonna kill us. Let's just not touch the walls. Should be very easy here. Oh, what the hell? I, I died. Okay, let's try it again. Cool. But did you shower for this? Multiple elephants. What, we just have to do it multiple times? I think I just, oh, okay. I have to let the first one go through? I think I just have to win this level multiple times. This reminds me of a uh, Super Meat Boy. I keep wanting to know what the next level will be. Um. So, oh, okay, I did it. Bombs away. Are my pastries bombs? That's my guess. Yep, they are. My pastries are bombs. Destroy the level. Okay. Text-based adventure. So I can't move. <laughs> You arrive in a dark level with several cube-shaped blocks. A pungent odor of sweet, uh, sickly pastry rolls over the tiled floor. Ahead, you see a switch and a pipe you take from the level. So I can type, uh, switch. Click as you push the switch, the gates uh, open. The large pipe is now accessible. You arrive in a dark, damp level with several cape shoot. Okay, okay. So now I can say pipe. I just type pipe. Okay, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. So switched up. So this, I believe, it's already open, and if I press the switch, then it'll close. Okay. Cage the elephant. What? Oh, no! No! I got in prison, but I think I could just break out of it, yeah. Okay. High jump. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so none of these have been too, too hard. Tricky doors. So was it just be a puzzle? Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to... Oh, that didn't... Okay, there we go. We're gonna beat this really fast, I think. Pie in the sky. So, okay, this was the achievement. Input pie on stage 25 extremely quick. 3.145, four, oh God, what is it? Oh, it's just letting me spam numbers. Did that count? What's the last digit? I don't, I don't think I did it fast enough. 
I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, 3.14. Okay, you, it literally just lets you spam all of the keyboards. It doesn't let you do it until you put the right one in. So I got the achievement. This one's very easy. So now all we have to do is clear stage 30 and we will have 100%ed all of the achievements on this game here. Hello, Mr. Velociraptor. So we're just a Velociraptor here. Very fast. Main menu snake champion. Okay, so I'm assuming we gotta go to the main menu. And what? We're playing, okay, we're playing snake. Oh my God, we're literally playing a snake game on the main menu. Dude, I'm so good at snake. We did it. That was it? I already did it, okay. And that, playing snake on the main menu. Uh, got us, got us through. The door puzzle is a real drag. Do I drag it open? How do I, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I can just drag the portals. I, okay. I did it. Oh, no, okay, I need to, there's an invisible wall here, so. We do this, and then we're gonna drag all of the door, those two doors there, and we go. So we only have two more levels here. Revenge of Amazing, oh no. So we're back in another maze. Oh no. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Not the Revenge of Amazing. How do I get this? How do I get this? What? Okay, we have to go down there. Okay. So there's just invisible walls everywhere. Are we good? Let's go. Okay, last stage already. Door to door pastry switching. I just, okay, I'm just throwing pastries everywhere. Cause yeah, this doesn't, uh, can I use my pastries to open up the door? I've thrown pastries in every door so far. Oh, the door just eats pastries. And we did it! We already beat the game! No, we don't have anything awesome to give you. But maybe we can assign you some random title. C plus average your mammoth E control from. So we got all the achievements. Um, there technically is some options like invisible mode. In order to get that, you need to find the stage six Easter egg. You could get hyper mode by beating the game in 20 deaths or less. An FML mode, friendly, memorable, love mode. Beat any mode in less than 10 minutes. So we had beaten it in 12 minutes. So if we wanted to do more challenges, we could, but we already got all three achievements, which is what we're here for in the main menu. So this is the only level's always been one of my favorites. So that's sick. So we're gonna return to the house here and we're gonna go read the lore. Um. So let's see here. So um, the switch, the benefit of the switch over the push button in level design. Oh, cause yeah, in, in this is the only level one and two, they were uh, uh, push buttons. So the benefit of the switch over the push button in level design is we got to experiment with the switch being a range of off to on, not just off or on. This opened up many possibilities for level design and we got to take advantage of these pretty regularly in uh, this is the only level uh, three. We also had an opportunity to introduce the door, basically a simple warp or used otherwise in many levels, which to be a wealth of design choices for creating the overall design in the final title. The cupcake. Pooping pastries is potentially my favorite thing I've ever designed in a video game. I'm sorry I'm just a five-year-old and it's just funny, but as an adult, I could mechanically make it important to do and it ends up working. And an achievement unlocked three extremely well. This idea came up, came from a question we used to ask each other in high school. Would you rather pee fire or poop ice cream? Oh God. Obviously we were in high school, sorry again, but the obvious answer is poop ice cream. But for this game, I thought it would be fun if you could poop a bunch of different treats. Achievement Unlock 3 took it to the maximum where you could hold space to generate a gigantic pastry, or if you held it too long, you exploded. Anyway, games are fun, you should make games. And the door. 
Uh, the levels in This Is The Only Level 2 and 3 were co-designed by Tasselfoot. We would sit down in person uh, and write down... Why? Something's glitching. I don't know if that's like an Easter egg or whatever. Um, would sit down in person and write down all our stage ideas for the given level design on sticky notes and then organize them by difficulty and remove ones that were not clear, too difficult, or not feasible. After that initial design session, we would have to make minor modifications um, I'm assuming that's to say to the level design and through implementation and testing would discover which stages were fun or not fun. Many stages would get tweaked or changed as players go to try them out. Hints via stage names would also get rewritten for when it wasn't obvious enough. So it keeps talking about Achievement Unlocked 3. I'm assuming that's one. Yeah, Achievement Unlocked 3 is up here. Okay. So now we have Elephant Quest. And Elephant Quest, I believe, is a bigger game here. So we're gonna, I believe this is like a whole little RPG elephant game. So we're about to, we're about to, so, okay, what do we have to do? So in order to 100% it in the uh, collection, we need to defeat Wooly, which I'm assuming is beating the game, this little RPG. We need to build an army of 10 mini fans, and we need to reach elephant level 12. Those are our achievements for this game here. So let's, uh, Let's jump into it here. The weather was fine and everyone decided it was a great day to be outside. Elephant dressed up in his finest bowler cap. But while walking through the meadow, that bully Wooly decided he liked Elephant's hat better than his. Wooly took the hat from the elephant, cackling menacingly as he ran away, the thief. But Elephant knew he had to get his hat back, and he would stop at nothing to get it. Okay. And that's the lore of this RPG. So welcome to Grasslands. You have discovered a new area. So we have a whole map. and I mean, look at this. This is like a whole freaking RPG here. So we have 12 quests. I'm going to go ahead and move myself to this side. Uh-oh, you clicked outside of the screen. Click anywhere on the screen to continue playing. I'm only doing this for your own good. You would have been killed by flying creatures if your Flash player lost focus, and you would be really, really sad. <laughs> so we have quests to complete. The first one is Wooly's Fight. Find the yellow key in the caves. We have 45 different locations to visit. There's ability points as well. We have credits to spend. There's a, there's a whole freaking RPG right here. Okay. So, what is this? Press down. Sprouts. Man, that Wooly is terrible. Move around by pressing WASD or arrow keys. You can follow Wooly through that door by pushing the down key. What's a down key? Okay. Oh, space bar. Okay, space bar brings up this menu. Oh, I can shoot things. Okay. We have a, like a little laser. Okay. So this, so, okay. So, okay. So it colors in the areas that we've been to. Okay. Tasselfin. All these enemies are everywhere. I'm glad you have weapons to help protect us. Fire by pressing the mouse button. Okay. And I can't go off the edge of the screen. Oh, geez. Crawler. Okay. So we're killed. We're getting experience here. You have leveled up to level two, clear bonus, killed all enemies for an eight XP bonus. <laughs> Cormion. Oh man, that was awesome. Did you level up? You can spend your level up credits to buy ability points by clicking the button in the top right. Ability points get spent on skills, which allow you to become even more awesome than you already are. Swoons. So we can level up. Uh, click any adjacent space to earn ability points, which are good for boosting spills. I need to earn ability points. So I don't know what they do. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's get agility. If I have agility. And I have one more credit to spend. This is all just stats here. Um, okay. Let's uh let's get some charisma. Oh! Burn those ability points. Spend 25 points in any skill to earn a sweet elephant upgrades. Oh, okay. So if I get more agility, right, I can get more double jump. Oh, the ability to jump. Oh, so how do I get more, uh, more, uh, mini fans? Minions? Okay, we want charisma. Minions to f help fight. Because we want 12 of them. So I should just focus everything on that, right? So do I have minions that are helping me fight right now? I don't know. 
playing Peglin with you in the background and you j I just got your item. Hey. Okay, new level. You've discovered a new area. So here we can go to multiple different areas. This is like a whole thing. You see my friend Buffalo yet? Oh. Oh no, did I glitch it? Oh no. I found a balloon. I can't, oh man. Oh wait, ability to jump, there we go. Oh wait, do I still not have the ability to jump yet? I want to get back up. I could. I don't know what he was going to say. Quest added. Hello, Fent. Pardon my sudden quest line, but can you help me find Mr. Snuggles the bear? I lost him somewhere in the caves, a place you haven't been yet, probably. I'll give you a reward if you can find him for me. Okay. Another quest. Hello, Fent. I am Bob, one of the famous Bob Balloon Brothers. I am the most famous one, of course. I love balloons. I would love to see three balloons. If you find them, let me know. So we're getting quests. Another quest. The W. Yo, yo, Mr. E, how you doing? I need you to toss me a toss a message to me home, home, home of Duke. No clue where he may be. Find him and he'll drop you a sweet gift. Larry, all those locked doors. How unfortunate. I know there's a key somewhere in the caves. Maybe you'll find it. Okay. So, okay. So let's, uh, so Sp Spike's hurt, hurt us. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, we'll go to the left. Oh, no, we need a key for that. Okay. I wish I could jump back up here. So I don't think I can. Oh, geez. Oh, I, I made it. I made it. I hurt myself, but whatever. What were you saying? You see my friend Buffalo yet? He's quite a character. Oh, that, that was it. What you had to say to me? Okay. We have to go down here. We're in the caves. Oh. We leveled up. Okay, so I want to keep leveling up charisma, I think. Anything that can get me more charisma. So dexterity. Damage done by weapons. Sure. Though we can't regenerate health yet, but... Joey, another quest. Oh, golly! I tied up my cats outside the grocery store while I went in to buy some milk and they ran away. I have three cats to find. They all look the same. Sort of fat yet charming. I need you to help me find them. There's one in the cave, forest, and ruins. I'm not sure how I know this. Okay. Um, well... There's Joey here. Okay. So we've already been to four out of 45 locations. Yeah, let's just go with this door. Discovered more areas here. We found something. You found a quest item. Added it to my inventory. Okay. Level up. Uh, give me more charisma. Because we want more minions to help fight. Minions to help fight. So, like, we don't even have these, the mini fent swarm yet. Okay, and what is the invent? Oh, is that one of the cats? Wait, let me walk back. Nope. Oh, this was not the right place. We're already getting lost. Give me that experience. Okay, level up. Uh, get me... Let's do some HP. I'm assuming HP is just HP, yeah. Um, okay, so I meant... Okay, so they do respawn every time. So this was the cat. I want to give the guy his cat back already. Have you found my cats yet? They are... Oh, okie dokie. Good, I'll be right here. Oh, so I have to hold them all in... Okay, I have to find them all. Okay. We leveled up. Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna level up, uh, uh, intelligence and dexterity and agility and charisma and dexterity. So we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, ability to regain health. Kind of want that. And then we're gonna keep putting in some effort into uh, the minions helping us fight. Oh! Okay, so what, it just puts you in the same room you're already in? Doesn't seem like there's any... Oh, gosh. Rip. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any real ramifications of dying. 
which is kind of nice. Leveled up. I think you even keep your experience. HP, dexterity, kind of just getting whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. I want the... Oh, actually, ability to regain doesn't matter anymore. Let's get the ability to jump. That seems kind of helpful. Okay. We just go from place to place here. Looking for cats, looking for balloons, looking for keys. Okay. What is that? That's a nudger. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Someone needed the teddy bear. So we got that in our inventory. We leveled up again. Uh, yeah, give me charisma. It's kind of like doesn't really matter. Credits awarded each level up. Ability to skip spike damage would be kind of nice too. This seems like a secret. Oh, maybe a secret if I could actually jump. Where am I? I'm here. Yeah, there seems to be something, like if I could actually jump. But I'm sure we'll, uh, we can revisit later. So there's the key. Oh, dude, we're gonna get so much experience. Hey, and we got the key. We leveled up. So give me, uh, dexterity, agility. I'm really just clicking whatever now. It does not seem to matter. I like that the inventory just follows you around. We're just gonna have a bunch of random items. And also, so one... Oh, jeez. One of the achievements was only to get to level 12? Reach elephant level 12. That doesn't seem too hard. We're already almost there. But obviously, the other one is probably beating the game. Defeating Wooly, I'm pretty sure, is beating the this game. Okay. Uh, there's a guy. Oh, here's a balloon. So we found uh, two of the three balloons. Bobbington. Hello, Ophant. I am Bobbington, one of the famous Bob Balloon Brothers. I am the most famous one, of course. I love balloons. I would love to see ten balloons if you find them. Okay, so we don't have the right color key. So I wonder how long this is actually going to take us to beat. I don't think, see, some of these later Elephant games, I don't think I actually played. I think I saw Elephant Quest. I might have played it a little bit. I don't remember beating it. Okay, we leveled up. Uh, HP, Dexterity. Okay, so we leveled it up. Congratulations, you just reached Adrenaline. Your Elephant now gains one uh, HP per second regeneration. We slowly regenerate health. Not much, but a little bit. Enough. Enough to matter. Dude, I bet the speed run for this game is like five minutes. The way they show the health bars too on the right is very interesting. Pulsar, who is this? What do you want? Joey, have you found my cats yet? They are in the ruins, caves, and forest. Okie dokie, good, I'll be right here. Oh, so they're... What, do the characters just keep moving? Charisma. Charisma. Okay, now I have minions. Your elephant now gains one minion. One minion total. Wait, so I'm just gonna have to keep putting that in. Oh, I just have a minion that helps me auto fight. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. We looped back. Joey. That we did. That we did. Okay. So I think we actually want to go to the right here. Okay, yeah. So we want to go bottom right somewhere. That, so... Oh, but we didn't have the right key. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, we didn't have the right key. That's why we had to loop back. So we're probably going to need to loop back to this main area. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Yeah, I love the minions here. I love that that's an achievement because that's something I definitely want to do. So we're going to need a lot of experience. We want 12 elephants helping us. Now, I'm assuming as you level them up, 
uh, maybe like exponentially increases. So next level up, maybe we'll have two or something. I, I don't really know, but okay. So yeah, we want to go back up. We're back in the grasslands. All these locked doors. I'm talking about the keys. This is the key that works. Um, you message. Yeah, okay, so I, we haven't done anything yet because they need more. We don't have three balloons yet. Oh, oh my! Awesome! Thank you for finding my bear. Here is a weapon to help you. Don't ask how I found it. What? I got a weapon? Oh, did he give me another? Oh no, he gave me. Something that shoots behind me? I don't know if it's another elephant. But we got level 12, which was one of the achievements. That gave me agility, dexterity. Um, I want more damage done. I want the ability to jump. Oh, I can now jump one block higher. Let's go. Okay, so we can go on this key now. Okay, we're in a new area. So now there's droppers. Assuming if we walk under them, they hurt us. Uh, so we could either go from here, we could go up or down. Kind of want to go up. See what happens when we go up. Oh, crap. There's zippers. Leveled up. Okay, HP. Yeah, I'm going for this big charisma boost. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna keep doing a uh, jumping height. Exploration seems like it'd be really helpful. Oh, I got to him. Steve, I heard that some of the elephants were enjoying Wooly's new hat. You see it yet? How dare you say that to me? How dare you say that to me? Okay, so I can go either to the left or the right. Let me go to the left here first, because there's only one room. Ella. What? What happened? Was there still an enemy? Oh, there must have still been an enemy. Oh, it was a dropper up there. You're too cool, Mr. Elephant. Can I has a fi five high? Hi, five. How do I high five you? There was a quest to high five them. Unless I already completed the quest. Can I see my quest? Okay, quests. Find three cats. We need to find a green key. Find Ella's friend, Bethany, in the ruins. Find three balloons. Find ten balloons. Okay, so... It said I got a quest, but I don't know. I don't know. I died right as I did it, so I don't quite know. Okay, glad we have that jump height. So now we're still in the forest here. Oh, there's another balloon. So now we have three balloons so we can show once we get back to that uh, main forest area. We have three balloons. Level up. We're making our way for this charisma here. Uh, I want more credits award each level up. That seems like it'd be uh, good. The ability to aim your weapon. Yeah, we'll do damage as well. Okay, so we've explored 14 out of the 45 locations here. Dave, I like to frolic in the meadows sometimes, but today I'm chilling in the mysterious forest area. Crazy stuff. Wait, didn't we need to talk to Dave? No, Duke. So he's just... He's just vibing, I guess. Um, okay. Uh-oh. Some kitties. Hey, cat, can you not... Can you not... What's going on, Jojo? What's going on? Um, okay. So we're already almost done with all this area. The forest or whatever. Oh, we found another cat. And another balloon. 
Okay. There's gotta be some sort of sea. Oh! It's a lot of enemies. Okay. Jojo! Jojo! Oh, okay, Jojo killed me. You killed me, Jojo! I didn't press the right pause button. There's a lot of enemies. I wonder if this is just experience or not. Probably is a lot of experience. Nice. Okay, charisma, HP. I want more minions. More minions, more damage. That's what I want. Okay, what's up here? Hey, that's the blue key. Okay. So we found a blue key. Kitties are woken up. Every time they wake up, I gotta protect all my cables. Okay. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Dude, yeah, some of the enemies hurt you for a long time. Or, like, hurt you pretty bad if you just, like, let them stay on you. These guys have, yeah, chaser. Oh, no, I fell! Rip. Rippity dippity. I'm glad there's not really a punishment for dying. Okay, they were worth a decent amount of HP. Decent amount of HP. Okay, so yeah, now we want to go. We could go back, but I'm going to just keep exploring. And then we can revisit that first area, you know, all the quests when we want to. Definitely want more damage, though, because it's taking a very long time for me to kill some enemies. Oh, got the umbrella. Who? I forgot who wanted the umbrella. Someone wanted an umbrella. Leveled up. I'm just going to keep working on this. Okay, your elephant now earns plus one skill point per level. So we should be able to level up a lot quicker now. And then, what was the quest with the umbrella? Return Mr. Tootsie's umbrella to him. That's, that's, uh, that's doable. Buffalo. Elephant! I am not really an elephant, but a buffalo wearing an elephant suit. Could you tell? A master of disguise. Anyways, could you find my brother Dave? He's hiding out somewhere fairly close to here. Dave, wasn't... Oh yeah, he's literally... He's literally uh, right o right around here. Okay, my kitty is... You wanna sit on my lap, Jojo? What's going on? Come on. Come here, Jojo. Yeah, you can sit on my lap. We're playing a chill elephant game. You just need to be chill. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know if he's going to be sad that I haven't uh, beat him. Okay, let's real fast. We can go to Dave right now. That's an easy quest. And quests seem to give us a lot of experience here, so... That seems like it's going to help us a lot here. So this was Dave. Try to figure... Oh, okay. Well, try to figure out if Dave is really a buffalo. Maybe I should have killed... I should. I need to kill things before I read things, because I'm missing some, some lore here. Okay. You find Steve yet? He's fairly close by. He'll probably know if Buffalo's actually a buffalo. So I have to find Steve now? Okay, well, so we're backtracking here. I'll go do, I wanna finish this quest here, yeah. So let's go talk to Steve. I think this is Steve. Okay. Dave, Dave you sent, you, Dave you sent you, huh? He's an interesting guy. Buffalo, an actual buffalo? Yeah, I don't know what buffalo really is. I'll tell you what, though. I think his best friend Pokey would know. Who, why don't you ask him? He's fairly close by. So now Pokey... Okay, we're just doing all sorts of backtracking right now. Okay. Said so there's a star here in the bottom left. What does that mean? Oh, Mr. Tutti. Uh, oh gosh, thank you so much. Without my umbrella, who knows what could have happened? Although this world will never see rain, we can never be too cautious. Oh, although I think there's some typos that are still in this game, but that's whatever. Um, okay. So I could go to a whole new area, but we're trying to go to Pokey. So this would be a whole new area. I'm gonna ignore it. Oh, we leveled up a bunch. Um. 
Okay. Uh, we've leveled up our damage. Your elephant now blasts an extra 25% weapon damage. And... Um, yeah, I just want to jump, like, really, really high. That's what I want to do. Dude, this is like a whole thing. Definitely the most involved elephant game so far in the collection, right? Ah! Okay. So now Pokey is up here, right? Do I have enough jump height? No, I still gotta... Also, we've done some of someone here. My Linda. There we go. There's Bob with the elef uh, the uh, balloons. Holy smokes! Three balloons! Incredible! Here's a prize for my gratitude. So we just got experience or something. Okay, 50 charisma we just got. What do we want to work towards now? Dexterity or something? Actually, wait. Which? Um. Credit junkie. I'm going to do what, whatever gives me the most uh, intelligence. We're going to start making our way towards intelligence here, which is in the bottom left. Okay, so bunch of charisma. We now have another minion. We have another minion. Three minions total. And then... Okay, cool. So we have even more minions now. I love it. And then we need to talk with Pokey over here, and then we can go back to all that r stuff on the right. Elephant, how can I help you? What? Buffalo? Eesh, I don't like dabbling in this sort of stuff, but yes, and no. And he's not a buffalo. Well, sort of. He's a bison. Hard to tell, huh? Well, he's unconvinced he's really a bison, so he claims to be a buffalo. Interesting stuff, huh? Be gentle on him. We love him bison or buffalo or not. Aww. Okay, so we completed a quest. It's getting harder to level up. Okay. So, where do we want to go now? Uh, okay, let's let's go visit. Uh, let's finish visiting all of this stuff here on the right now. So we just got a lot of quests done. Let's go. So okay, we want to. I believe. Where are we right now? We're here. Yeah, let's let's uh, go. Okay, at first I was a little bit overwhelmed by the map system, but I definitely think I'm getting it now. Gotten two minions from quests. Oh, that's my might have been what it is. Yeah, those like little laser carts. So they're giving me the laser cart things. That's interesting. That was a good catch, yeah. Definitely what's happening. Okay, back in the forest here. And then this is where we haven't been yet. Or we're about to get to where we haven't been. Yeah, having all these uh, little minions helping us is very satisfying. We reached level 19. So we're just going to work our way towards the intelligence. I think that's going to get us to level up very quickly. So more minions and yeah, just more credits awarded each level up. That's what we want. So by the time we beat the game, I want to have all my minions. Okay. So we have not been here. Cool, we found, oh, we got a key. Okay, it's pretty important. So that key, I believe, goes to the, uh, that was one of the doors in the starting area. Okay. Oh, we're in the ruins now. Leveled up. Duke, the W's looking for me? Oh, geez. What did I do? JoJo actually pressed that. I like being out in the ruins. It's a cool place to hang. So I think we got another cart now. So the carts just uh, duplicate when I shoot, which is cool. Okay. So yeah, we get, we're getting so many more credits. We're leveling up so much faster. Uh, yeah, damage done by elephants. Just want a ton of damage, ton of jump speed. Okay, so we have two different ways we can go here. Uh, sure, let's go to the right first. Hey, hey, Frel. Just doing the Elephant Quest RPG. We have six out of ten balloons for that one quest. And we found another cat. I, I think, I believe that was all the cats that we needed. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, this, I thought that, I don't know why this game was, like, it, I just was a little bit overwhelmed early on, but no, yeah, we're totally fine. Bethany, oh, Ella was looking for me? Yeah, she's quite, quite a charming personality, and yes, I do believe she's a bit crazy, but thank you, I'll see to it that I'll find a way to contact her. So another, uh, quest completed. We're getting, your elephant now earns two skill points per level. Okay. Just want to make sure we go to all the areas, get all the collectibles. Hey! I have two blue keys now. Come get me. Yeah. We have two blue keys, okay. I wasn't expecting to need multiple unless there's just... It doesn't want you to get stuck, so there's like multiple ways to get certain keys or something. And we have what? Four or five elephants? We need 12 for one of the achievements. And like, remember, these were just flash games back in the day, right? So it might look a little bit rough right now. Like, remember, this was a flash game back in the day. Nancy. So we got a new quest. I'm the stereotypical self-centered elephant Nancy. Good to meet you. I wanted to ask you to fetch me something. Would you be a darling and find my trophy for me? I think I left it in the cloudy area. Be a darling and find it for me. Well, okay then. Okay. Got any recommendations for a good roguelike, love Hades, Rogue Legacy games? Yeah, if you haven't played Rogue Legacy 2, I'm assuming you have. But if you like the meta progression, yeah. Rogue Legacy 2, I'm assuming you've played. That game's amazing. Uh, Cobalt Core? Uh, we played that earlier this stream. Um, that's a really fun uh, roguelike deck builder. It doesn't have a bunch of meta progression, but it has a bunch of, like, uh, things to work towards. Like, there's a lot of replayability in that game. So. Okay, so I think, yeah, now we're going to head back uh, to... Oh, we have a bunch of credits to level up. Um, now we're gonna head back to the, the main, um, area, open up some things. I'm kind of talking to everyone just in case. Hey, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Without my umbrella, who knows what could have happened. Although, wait, I thought I already completed that one. Whatever. Okay, um... Nice, just got 50 intelligence. So now we are getting three skill points per level. Fours, okay, we've maxed that. We have maxed that. Now we gained one minion. We can no longer get any more minions. XP bonus is granted on quests. How cute you look. That's a stat. So, oh, wait. Build an army of 10 mini fans. I don't know how to get more. So it's telling me I have a level up, but I don't. Yeah, meta progression when done right in roguelikes is really good. Okay. So, let's see. I know there was the guy in the caves. Um, yeah, let's just start going to this whole, uh, left area. Oh, dude, we've, we're we already at 29 of 45 locations. Yeah, I'm assuming there's other ways to get that. So we got the green key open, or green thing open. So we're in the new area. Whoa, whoa, we almost died from that. You get six credits from leveling up. Let's just go work towards, uh, the agility corner here now. We get so many level ups now. So, uh, yeah, XP bonus is granted on quests. Ability to aim weapons. Your elephant now has better accuracy. Okay. Oh, we're in the cloud area. There's a balloon up there. I don't know if we can jump that high yet. No. We can't jump that high yet, though. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to backtrack down. Okay, that's fine. Elephant down here. 
Nate, new quest. I love clocks. Time is everything. Don't you agree? Time to grind. Haha. <laughs> I agree with myself at least. Anyway, my watch is broken. Can you check with Mr. Do about fixing it? So I'm going to kind of just like go through all the areas and at the very end we can backtrack to the specific people that we need, you know? Okay. Is this a roguelike? No, this is like a whole R little RPG, a flash RPG from back in the day. Um, okay, so we go to two different places. Okay, yeah, let's go to this bottom left first. I don't know what's special. Oh, that we okay, another blue key here. Okay, we have three blue keys. Oh, I thought that cloud there was in the uh, foreground. Yeah, our accuracy actually is kind of helping. Hard to tell for sure. Okay, we're losing some health there. That's fine. Sam, it's been really good weather this week, don't you think? I really hope it stays this way for a long while. Oh, there's the trophy. That person was looking for the trophy. We found it. Wait. I think that was just a coincidence. Okay. Yeah, we level up so much now that we did that other thing. Okay. You can uh, jump one block higher. I want to max that out. Uh, damage does 25% more damage. And we're going to get more XP on quests. Okay, so I don't think that's the pick up trophy. But we're probably going to find the trophy somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Jumping that high is so nice. Yeah, and our, our elephants can, I believe, uh, jump through the walls. Or shoot through the walls. Tanks. These tanks have a lot of... Oh, there's a balloon. Eight out of ten balloons found. It's like something very satisfying. Like, it just took, like, a lot of the progression in roguelikes, you know? And, like, the, the quests and stuff like that. It's almost like a little Metroidvania, but I, I, I don't really, I mean, technically, I guess this is sort of a Metroidvania, but we're not really getting like new abilities. I mean, kind of are, I don't know. Bobby. Elephant, I am Bobby, one of the famous Bob Balloon brothers. I am the most famous one, of course. I love balloons. I would love to see seven balloons. If you would find them, let me know. I have them. Holy smokes! Seven balloons? Incredible! Here's a prize for my gratitude. So I think we have another elephant here. Okay. Nice. We got that corner. We want to just work towards the corner. We already have the dexterity. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, let's start working towards the dexterity here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We can jump even higher now. Okay, we can jump even higher. And uh, we'll get uh, ability to deflect damage and more XP bonuses on the quests. We can jump pretty freaking high now. Pretty high. <laughs> yo, yo, Zanak. Time to see how you doing. Another blue key. I don't know why we need blue keys. We have four blue keys, though. So don't worry, guys. I've got all the blue keys we could ever want. No! I didn't mean to fall. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. We are at 14 HP. Were there spikes? Oh, there's the trophy. Found the trophy. So we can bring that back to the, the one person. Okay. So I need believe... I remember where she is. Yeah, it wasn't Nate that needed him. Wait. Oh, I just saw a balloon down there. Did I? Oh, yeah, that was the... Okay. Mr. Do. Nate was looking for me? He wants his watch fixed? Well, okay, I'll head over and fix his watch before sundown. Thanks for your help. Okay. Doing nice, got in a college part-time job, burnt out. <laughs> yeah, welcome to uh, adult stuff. Once you don't have, uh, you know, it's always hard. My mom always, always told me, like, just school... 
like whether it's elementary school, middle school, high school, college, it's definitely the hard part of life. Once you get through that, at least in my experience, I've found it to be true. It's a lot easier. So hopefully, you know, once you uh, get past that, you know, get better. Okay, Nancy's trophy is who we're looking for. Nancy is... Where's Nancy? We're looking... Oh, Nancy was all the way on the right side of the map. Yeah, we could go turn that in real fast. Is there anything else to turn in? Find Wooly's lair, use the blue keys. The cat's... Okay, where's Joey? Nancy and Joey. I feel like we're getting close to beating the game already. Okay, Joey's right there. Yeah, so let's go turn in these things to Nancy and Joey. Yeah, hope, hope uh, school, everything gets better for you. Oh, we leveled up. Dude, we're starting to level up a lot. Glad we focused on what we focused on. So now your elephant deflects 10% more damage. Um, I'm gonna get ability skip spike damage. Uh, we get even more XP from uh, quests now. Okay, so let's go turn into Nancy first. We jump so high now. I love it. That's Mr. Tootie. We don't need Mr. Tootie. Yeah, we gotta be getting close here. Okay, so Nancy's down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like I got like stuck on those spikes there. Okay, hello Nancy, I have your trophy. Ah! Never mind, we died. We will never be the same again. Right. Um the funny thing is that this isn't my trophy. It's actually Sam's. It's a trophy for best dancer, and sadly, I was only fourth place. Would you take it to him? So we need to find Sam now? Where's Sam? Sam I am. Um, Sam. Where does Sam live? It's actually really hard to work this map. Sam's all the way back in the area we were just at. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You could have told me. Why did she say it was her trophy for? What tomfoolery is that? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I can feel the limitations of Flash every time we like run past a lot of enemies and there's a lot going- Oh, balloon! Oh, 10 out of 10 balloons. I'm very glad we-, we if we- Oh, we almost missed that. We didn't though. We didn't. Okay, so we're looking for... Sam, let me go back down to the caves, turn in the quest for the 10 out of 10 balloons. We're gonna have to figure out how to get more elephant minions though, because I, I believe we're capped, and I don't think, unless the little minecart things are counting as that, I don't know. Okay, so we need to go back to where we were. Just kind of speed running through, even if I'm taking damage. Okay, so Sam does this. It does, yeah. And I believe we can jump. So, oh, we're going to die. Oh, six HP, but we didn't die. That's Nate. I jumped so high. I'm coming for you, Sam. Sorry, if Sam's like, that's not my trophy. Okay, do we have all the corners? We have the charisma, the intelligence. Okay, so now we're just going for whatever. Literally, just whatever we can level up. Uh, ability to deflect damage isn't even... I, I'm start doing direct health bonus. Ability to skip spike damage. And, uh, yeah. Increase our damage a ton. We've maxed that out. We'll do uh, health regen, more XP bonuses on whatever. Okay, Sam, I have your trophy. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh god, we died. No! At least there is absolutely no ramifications for dying, so... Okay. Wow, where'd you find my trophy? Thank you so much! I could have sworn that Nancy stole it from me, but it looks like you found it on your own accord. Thank you! So what, she was just feeling guilty about stealing it? Okay. So now let's go back to the main area. Let me take a quick look at all of our quests to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, actually, believe it or not, Hollow Knight was inspired from this game. You know, actually, that's actually like a, there's a non-zero chance that that's true. Because this is an old game. Fla these Flash games are, you know. Like that's, that's what you gotta remember. These, these were Flash games. So for this, like, whole RPG to exist in a Flash game is pretty sick. Okay, so quests. We got uh, three quests left. The main quest, find Ruli's lair, use the blue keys. Go find three cats for Joey. So we need Joey and Bobbington, which they are both in the caves. And that is also where we just need to go. So uh, I believe our time here in this Flash RPG is coming to a close here. Um, okay, Joey, Joey, Joey. You found all the cats! I really appreciate it. I was going out for sushi and I know how much they love it. Thank you so much. Here's something I can give you to help your journey. A Chipotle burrito sounds good right now. Oh my, we got 12 <coughs> credits. <coughs> um, boop, 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 boop. Um, okay, we're going to uh, direct health bonus and ability to skip damage. Elephant now blocks another 25% of that. Ability to regain health. And, um... I kind of want to do the how cute you look. What, what happens if I level up how cute I look? That's the question. Right? That's the question we just gotta be, we gotta be asking ourselves. Alright, so here's... We have this key. Egads! Ten balloons! Incredible! I have never seen so many balloons in my life! Here's a prize for my gratitude! Okay. Um, more direct health. Regen. Okay, so we're opening up. So is it just gonna require- there's gonna be a lot of- yeah, there's just a lot of locked doors here. So we found all the locked doors. This is what we needed all these blue keys for. Assuming it's like, go find the blue key in the cloud area. Go find the blue area in the forest area. Oh man, this is it. The last room and here you are. It's been a long, long journey, hasn't it? Well, get ready because I just know Wooly's in the next room. If you have anything else you want to do before seeing Wooly, I would probably do it now. There's no way you can turn back now. Good luck. I have two cats. Did you know that? Okay, so the question is, build an army of ten mini fans. How do we do that then? If I'm capped out on my mini fans, right? How do I do that? Because it sounds like I need to do this now, right? I'm trying to 100% the game. Get one more from killing the final boss? I don't know, maybe. Um. This map is really weird, too. Quests. We've completed all of the quests besides find Wooly's lair. And we have... I don't know. Because we can't do mini fan swarm anymore. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to get it. I just... I don't want to... I don't know. No way there's something we missed, right? Also, yeah, dealing with this... Oh my god, I figured out how to do it. I just have to, like, right-click in a weird way. Like, no way we missed anything, right? That's the thing, I have zero clue. I don't want to have to, like, replay everything. Um... Build an army of 10 mini fans. 
We have like one, two, I don't even know. Are these counting as mini fans? Like, do I need to level up how cute I am? Is that somehow like it? Cause I like, there's still more to level up, right? Weapon damage, how cute you look? Like, no way. It's gotta be something to do with mini fan swarm, right? But I just, there's nothing else I could do. Um, let me, let me level up. Uh, oh, these guys don't give any experience. Um, there's gotta be like something we missed, right? I'm trying to see if there's a good way to farm XP. That's what we want. Jojo's farting. There you go. Okay. Um, new game plus? Oh! Oh, you're probably right. It probably is new game plus. You, I think you're totally right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. Forgot that existed. Okay, so let's go beat the game here. Torchic, um, are you hey, okay? Hey, Ghost RB, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, there was a new game plus. So that's probably the achievement incentive to go do new game plus. Okay. I'm gonna murder Wooly. Oh God. Oh God. Just keep jumping. It's actually harder than I was expecting it to be. Swarmed a bunch of stuff. Oh gosh. Jojo is clawing at my, uh... Jojo really wants me to pet him. I'm in a boss fight, Jojo. There's that one laser there. Like a laser got stuck on the screen. Like every time there's a certain amount of enemies, the game just lags a little. Hey, 5,000 experience, 30 credits. Defeat Wooly and Elephant Quest. That was an achievement. And with the greatest poison skill yet to be seen by the small uh, packy derm, Wooly was defeated and the hat was reclaimed. And while victory was sweet, Elephant remembered something that the sweetest things in life are shared among all. Wooly was hurt, but Elephant forgave him. And friends were made, and Elephant let Wooly borrow his hat for the rest of the wonderful day. The end. The UI is funky. Why don't they put HP bars on top of small enemies? Because this is a quirky flash game from like 15 years ago. <laughs> okay, so let's see. New game plus. Play new game with stats intact. Okay, so is the story... Okay, so we're just, what, starting literally back at the beginning? Man, that Wooly is terrible. Okay. Okay, so it's literally the same game. But I have credits, so I just need to do charisma. So I just have to do anything to give me charisma. That's like the most important thing we could do. Um, any th Oh, we got a lot of experience from that. I think we might not even have to play. Yeah, we got so much experience from that. Um, anything that can give me more charisma. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Wait, I, you, wait you still can't upgrade minions to help fight. Huh. Um. Okay, what's how cute you look? Your elephant now looks plus one cuter. Uh... Okay, we'll do XP bonus granted on quests. So do we just have to do all the quests again? Do we just have to play the game again? Um, direct health bonus. Um, skip spike damage. Regain more health. So do I have to do all of the quests again? 
I have... Hey, how many do I can't even tell how many I have. Because I didn't get those from quests, though. Build an army of ten mini fans. Ha! What do I... All these enemies... So are they scaled back up? They're seeming to die immediately. Okay. So that's the Bob. He wants to see the balloons. Gotta find that. You only have five from stats, so how did you get the others? I have one, two, three, true. That is true. I guess maybe only certain quests allow that? Huh. Okay. So we've kind of remember how to play, right? So. Find the cats. It didn't, it doesn't feel, okay, there's one cat. It doesn't feel like it scaled the, uh, the enemies too hard. This is not hard at all. And now that we kind of know how to play the game, I think we'll be able to get through this really quickly. So yeah, probably some of the power or one of the quest rewards was probably giving me an elephant. Because I can't think of anything else I would need to do right now besides just play the game again, do all these quests. There's a key. Honestly, I don't think New Game Plus did scale the enemy. Actually, I think it just kept the game the exact same the way it was. Go back up that line. Um, yeah, I remember that in the past. I don't think that is, but we didn't actually get a chance to check, so. Where was it? Did I already pass it? So yeah, now I can go up here. No, it's just a shortcut. So I imagine it, it should take us like, what, a total of like 15 minutes to uh, complete this. Okay, he's the one to find uh, 10 elephants or yeah, whatever. So we need the blue keys. So we've done everything we can do here. Oh. And we're gonna get a ton of experience every time we do one of these quests, right? Wait, I thought I just did like a double jump there. Okay. Just kind of talking to everyone in case there's a quest I wanted to do. Okay. Getting out of the caves. Talk to everyone here. Cool. Found a bear. Okay, so they gave me another weapon. And we have the yellow key. Okay, so we have all this. So we just, we don't know which quest, if any, gave us more elephants. Um, okay, let's go up. Uh, help finding a friend. Look in the runes. Balloon. So that's what that quest was, because we didn't actually know what that quest was. Okay, so now we're speedrunning in the forest. Uh, Dave? Hello, Dave. Because unless there's like a hidden, hidden secret, like in the main menu, I could see in like the main menu there being something. In fact, hold space to Dedefant. It says hold space to Dedefant, but that doesn't actually do it. Oh, if you're off screen, it will. Hmm. Wait, so, okay, I want I do want to check. Can I even go back to the main menu? I might not be able to until I beat the game. So maybe it's like some secret in the uh, main menu. Wouldn't put it past the game doing something like that. 
Okay. A balloon. Another of the cats. Got a key. Yeah, they 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 just have the same amount of health that they had before. Level up. You get six of these. I don't know. Maybe it has to do with being cute. Um, but I'm still gonna do the XP per quest because that'll end up getting us the most experience to max out this whole tree. So I imagine if we beat the game a second time, we should be able to max everything, right? Yo yo, Abachu. We're, uh, we're doing new game plus on a flash elephant RPG. Okay, got the umbrella. Okay, he's looking for Dave. And yeah, we'll just keep our eyes peeled for maybe any other secrets that may or may not exist. Okay, so there's the key that we're looking for. Because I don't know, maybe I, if I look cute enough, I can make babies with another elephant? I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to think out loud here how to get more. For those of you guys just tuning in, uh, because we're in the elephant collection, right, there's special achievements for these. We're trying to do this one, build an army of 10 mini fans, but we've already maxed out the mini fence swarm thing. So we're thinking some of these quests uh, give us more. I, I don't know. Did I get another one there? It's hard for me to tell if I just got one there. Is the cluttered UI an intentional decision? Well, this game was made like 15 years ago, so we maybe we're gonna after we beat this game, we will get some um, some insider knowledge on the game, right? That's kind of one of the cool things about this collection. But this this was a flash game, so um, you know, I don't know. They were pretty, plus this. Oh man. This game's always been super, or the elephant games have always always been super quirky. So I don't know if it was like intentionally like that or what, but um, yeah. Okay, who are you? Oh, Ella was looking for me. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. So I don't. I literally cannot tell. I think I have more elephants. I I am pretty sure some some of the quests give you more of the th those guys. So I think by beating the game a second time, doing all these quests, I do believe um, that we'll be able to, uh, to get the achievement. Which, these guys are just so helpful. I feel so, so powerful. Maybe, the, I wonder if the boss will be uh, scaled to us. Okay, so now we're looking for the trophy. Can you coyote jump? What is that? Oh, is that like jump when I'm still over the ledge? Or technically if I pass the ledge? I don't think so. If that's what you're talking about. Okay, so now we need to go do all the um, cloud stuff. And then uh, backtrack a little bit for some of the other quests. And now, regardless of when we unlock this achievement, I want to beat the game a second time just to see what happens. Even if there's not like a specific achievement in this collection for it. Just like last time, right? You guys, uh, when we did um, uh, in the last elephant collection video, when we did uh, achievement unlocked two, and we didn't, we, we had the whole secret ending and then I didn't even trigger it on accident. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, we did it. We did it. In New Game Plus mode, build an army of 10 mini fans and elephant quest. So we did it. That was, in fact, how we did it. So we have 10. So we got all of the three achievements there. Um, we got all three of those achievements. So at this point in time, now that doing the rest of the quests, yeah, let's let's go. I just want to see what happens when beat beat it, right? I uh, For those of you guys watching, right, obviously last episode we... Uh, Um, last episode, we, we didn't do it, so we had to do it at the beginning here. Okay, so, 
Okay, maxed out the XP bonuses. Now we're going to level up how cute I look. Um, I don't know. Aiming the weapon damage just doesn't seem to be that great. Okay, just seeing if I have any of these quests. Okay. What about you? Oh, okay. So we have the green key to go into this last main area. And we'll have to do a little backtracking because... I do genuinely want- oh, dude, yeah, I can just jump now up, too, which is kind of nice. But we'll just do this the normal way here. This guy loves clocks. Good for you. Every time I'm not petting Jojo, he's literally, like, putting his claws on me. I- I- I'm- I- I can't- I can't pet you 24-7, Jojo. I know, it's the saddest life to live. A life where you're not able to get pet 24-7. I know. It's so sad. Okay, blue key. Dude, we're going through this so fast, obviously. The jump height is so nice. Um, I wish I could like try to get up there. I don't have that much jump height. Don't have that much jump height. Taking a lot of damage here. Jojo, chill. I'm gonna kick you out if you're harassing me, Jojo. Jojo. You need to be a good kitty. You need to be a good kitty. You need to be a good kitty. Okay. Oh my gosh, can you not just grab my mic? Jojo. I know you're just trying to be affectionate, but I gotta I gotta I got a job to do. Okay, there's the last balloon here. Nine out of ten balloons. Yeah, like sometimes you can literally feel it like uh, lagging a little bit. I was like so paranoid when I'm like looking around for the cats. Okay, he wants seven balloons. I already have the seven balloons. There you go. Wait, did I not even... Yeah, dude, I'm such a high level that even that quest with all the extra experience... Uh... I didn't even level up a single time. Sometimes I wish I could talk to my dogs for even 30 seconds with them understanding English during that time so I could help them understand why they get punished sometimes. I know, it's so... Ooh, dude, having, having pets, ma'am. I wonder what happens if I take this quest to the one other person first. Okay, so... Almost done. We're probably like five or ten more minutes until we're already beating this new game plus here. So I will do all the quests here because I'm curious if all the quests will allow us to get all of the achievements. Probably not, but maybe. Also, if I bring this right to him... Okay, the watch. Yep, there we go. There we go. Leveled up there. I wonder what happens if you max this. Okay. Um. Okay, and then... So now we're finally going to start upgrading the speed at which we move. Oh. oh, I don't even know what I died. I looked up and I was... JoJo was trying to eat my cables. As they do. As they do. Okay. So, yeah, we are. So now we just have to go to Nancy. We're like almost done here. We got to go to Nancy. Nancy and Joey. So Nancy's definitely the first one to do. <gasps> but it's like, it's super impressive. Like this game, like being in flash, you know? Flash was such a, uh, 
a limiting engine from what I've heard, you know? There's so many things that, like, should be easy to do, but Flash just... The, the limitations of Flash, you know? Like, there's sometimes even here when it's doing these lag things, Torchic, and I'm... Are you okay? Um... Uh... Like, the inputs aren't even fully being, like, registered super uh, cleanly. Which I'm not, like... It's not a criticism of this game. I mean, it like, it, it, it's a product of the time, right? Some Flash games are just beautiful. Oh, I went the wrong way. We're looking for Nancy here. Like, I couldn't jump there. It, like... If I'm, like, trying to press too many buttons, sometimes I do not like that. Okay, hello, Nancy. You're here to tell me this isn't even your trophy. So we need to go all the way back to the cloud area. I'm still surprisingly taking a lot of damage. But I think it's mainly like when I'm just sitting in spikes or whatever. What is happening in this game? Oh, it's breaking right now. I don't really know like what's happening with these lasers everything. <laughs> it's uh, we're definitely pushing the limitations of Flash, that's for sure. Cause like I'm sure all of these little UI things that are showing me their health, that you guys are rightfully picking on the UI, right? Um, are not helping the game run smooth. And uh, also, Tattered, uh, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay, so we need to go to the cloud area. And we're almost done. Dude, yeah, it's literally, uh, is it just leave? Are these on, are these the same? I think these are the same lasers on every single screen, no? Maybe not. That's crazy. It's only the purple ones too, so it's my elephants doing that. Okay, so we need to go to Nancy. Or not Nancy, uh, Sam, because Sam is the rightful owner of this trophy. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my god, dude. It is. <laughs> uh, we still didn't level up from that. I was thinking if you were taking so much damage because of no iframes. Yeah, I don't think there's iframes on this. It's like constantly doing ticking damage if you're taking damage. Okay. Glad I can jump high. I'm curious, can you go through the doors underneath them? Oh, you can't. <laughs> I was gonna say that would have been a little exploit. Okay. Yeah, we are we are we are breaking this game. <laughs> okay, so the only quest we have here is yeah, Bobbington. Oh, Buffalo is looking for Dave. Oh, I'm not doing that quest. Whatever. Ah, but I said I was going to. Buffalo is looking for Dave. I forgot about that whole thing. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We're, oh, we forgot there was one more quest over here that we didn't do. I just am curious if you can actually max level by doing all the quests. I'm just so curious. Okay. So, Dave... It's like we're kind of just kind of run around. Everyone's around here, so this shouldn't take too long. Okay, hello, Dave. So now we're trying to find Steve. We're going back to Steve. Oh, balloon. I almost missed that balloon again. So we actually needed to go back there for that other one. So this is Steve. Oh my god, like, look, it's just like lagging sometimes. Um, okay, so now we need to find Pokey, which Pokey is back in this main area. This game reminds me of Pony Island. Oh yeah, that's a fun game. I like that game. That was the game made uh, by the dev of Inscription before he made Inscription. Okay, so we did that. Still haven't leveled up though. Quests. So we need to do, okay, Joey and Bobbington, which are both in the caves. Okay, Joey's right here. Yay, you found all the cats. I did. Okay. Dexterity. 
Um, any more? Yep. Okay, so now we have the speed of elephant travel. We've maxed out that. Your elephant deflects more damage. Okay, we may have to go into, I wonder if there's new game plus plus. Like, I wonder if that's how you have to do it all. Okay, and then got that quest. That one did level us up. Okay. I just want to know what happens if you vax it. <laughs> um, okay. So now the only quest left for us to do is to beat the other uh, game here. Dude, we're going to decimate the boss unless he got scaled up. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening with all the lasers. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at how much faster we're killing him. Oh, I am kind of low health though. Oh my god. No way I die. On the second time and not the first time. Oh my god, like what is happening? <laughs> we beat him! We beat him! So is it gonna let me new game plus plus? That's the question that we're at. We we need to be asking ourselves here. <gasps> okay, new game plus. No way. So I just want to know if I have. I'm not gonna play this again. I just want to know. Level up. There's no way I don't have enough. There, there's no way, right? Yeah, no, we, we would we would need to do new game plus plus in order to max this, which we don't need to max it. I was just kind of curious here. And I don't even know what making our elephant looks cuter. What does that even, oh, does it change the way we run? Okay, we do kind of run kind of cute. I am gonna lie. Okay, well that's enough of elephant quest. Let's go back to the collection of games here. And uh, let's, uh, let's go read the lore. Behind Elephant Quest. So, the Wooly. Wooly was a first effort in creating a nemesis for Blue Elephant. While I, while I'll forever shame, while I'll feel forever shame for not calling them Bully Mammoth, I really like how Wooly turned out. As most things with my artist Jimp, I just give a simple direction. It's a mammoth and boy howdy, it's frustrated and hat stealing and huge. And Jimp would just turn it into magic. It was bonkers and strangely comforting. This is coming from the guy who made a little elephant wobble as a walk animation. Wooly appears only twice in Blue Elephant games, in Elephant Quest, and later appearing as the boss in the last Blue Elephant game, Loot the Game. Okay. The mini fan. Elephant Quest was among the hardest games I've ever worked on. There were 45 individual rooms to build, balancing, writing, enemy development, making it actually work with all of the constraints of Flash. That's what I'm talking about. Flash <laughs> real, had a lot of constraints. It was really a challenge. As someone who always wanted to make an action RPG, it was the dream and it still is and I'm very proud of it. The Crawler. We made an ArmorGames.com exclusive quest in Elephant Quest when we first launched it. Several folks have never seen or played this quest before, so if you're reading this and haven't done this ever, then welcome! It featured Sushi Cat, a Flash game from the same era that plays like Peggle meets a cat, but that cat is a water balloon of gelatin. Fun fact, the artist from Sushi Cat also did all the art for Elephant Quest. Okay, so now we'll save it for next time, but next time we play we have, I think, the final two games here. Um, Achievement Unlocked 3, and then Run Elephant Run, but there might be one more game or something on here. I don't really know. So we're gonna save that for next time we play. It seems a lot of y'all recognize Sushi Cat. I don't think I ever played that. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna save that for next time, but man, we did Elephant. Uh, obviously, uh, this is the only level three. That's fun, but we got through that really quick. Most of this was the, the elephant quest, you know, RPG. Um, so, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for coming with me on this nostalgia trip uh, of some of these classic RPG games. 
uh, or classic elephant games from my childhood. So I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when we play most likely the final game in the elephant collection next time. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Uh, so if that video is out, it will be on the screen right next to me. Uh, check out the playlist for uh, the other collections of games if you haven't seen those. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some of the elephant collection on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.